Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this trailer axle with the idler hubs and easy grease spindles. Now this is going to be a great option for those of you who are needing to replace your trailer's axle or if you're building your own trailer and you're wanting to have more of a custom suspension system, uh, this will work great for you as well. But of course, there are lots of different lengths and weight capacities to axles out there. We've got a wide variety of axles here at eTrailer.com, so you do want to make sure that you're getting the right one for your trailer. This is a one and three quarter inch round steel axle beam. Uh, it's going to have a max weight capacity of 2,000 pounds. So again, make sure that that's going to work for your trailer's weight capacity. And then the other thing you're going to want to consider is the length. So we've got two different ways of measuring the length of the axle. Uh, the first is going to be from our spring seats here where our leaf springs are going to mount. These are welded onto our axle, so it's gonna be a nice static frame of reference for us to measure from. So from the center of one spring seat to the center of the other, it's gonna be right at 58 inches. The other way of measuring is gonna be from our uh, hub face. So from the outside flat edge of one hub to the outside flat edge of the other hub, it's gonna be right at 72 inches. So again, make sure that's gonna work for your trailer. You can see our axle does have a slight bend right here in the center. That's going to be our camber. So as weight is added to our trailer when it's under load, it's going to make sure that our wheels are riding correctly. Uh, so it's going to provide a nice uh, road to tread contact for us uh, across the whole width of our tires wheels. Uh, so you're not going to have to worry about uneven wear of your tread and that sort of thing. Uh, so it is going to be great for your straight line towing and acceleration. Our spindles are welded in place using a patented welding process that is uh, going to allow the spindle to slide over the axle rather than just butting up against it. So it's going to provide about a 40% stronger weld to help prevent uh, spindle failure. It's also going to make sure that everything is aligned properly. So you're not going to have to worry about your spindles being offset at all. Um, this is going to have a, a straight uh, alignment, so there's no drop to it whatsoever. Uh, our built-in grease zerk here is going to make it super simple to apply lubrication. Just hook up your grease gun, pump some grease in there. That's going to fill up that cavity inside there. Make sure that everything is well lubricated. Now, keep in mind, that is not going to take the place of your regular maintenance, taking everything apart, uh, packing your bearings, making sure everything is um, packed properly. This is just going to be kind of in the intermediary to make sure that everything uh, is staying lubricated in between that regular maintenance. But it is going to be super easy to access uh, with the cap that we have here. Uh, you just pry off that center piece with a flathead screwdriver or something like that, and that's going to give you access to your grease zerk. You're not going to have to even pop your cap off. It'll just allow you to uh, pull that plug out and access that grease zerk so you can uh, keep everything well greased. Our idler hubs are a nice cast iron construction, so they are going to be sturdy and very durable for you. Our hub bolt pattern is four on four inches, so it's going to work for your eight, eight inch to 14 inch wheels. Uh, we've got our bearings, races, seals, and lug nets all included with the idler hubs, and it does come pre-greased, uh, so you're not going to have to worry about packing your bearings, uh, dealing with all that mess and uh, frustration potentially. The first time you get this installed, I just put it all together, slide it in place, get your castle nut and uh, pin put in, pump a little bit of extra grease into that grease cirque there, and you'll be ready to go. So uh, very easy to get installed, uh, but of course you will have to perform that regular maintenance as we talked about. Our spring seats are welded to the underside of our axle. Uh, that's going to allow us to mount our leaf springs in the underslung orientation, which provides a nice low ride height makes it much easier to load and unload your trailer. Uh, so that's going to be nice having that in that orientation. This is CSA, QAI, and SAEN certified. Uh, so you can trust it meets those high quality standards. It's going to hold up well, do a good job for you for a long time to come. Uh, 
does also come with a limited lifetime warranty. So if you were to ever have any problems with it, you're more than welcome to reach out to us here at eTrailer.com. We're always happy to work with our customers to make sure you're getting good quality products and having a good experience. So overall, like I said, as long as this meets your weight capacity and length requirements, I think this is gonna be a great option for you. Uh, if not, we do have lots of other options, uh, different lengths of axles, different weight capacities, that sort of thing. Uh, to make sure that we're meeting your needs. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.